I failed the first time I tried to pass the Microsoft Power BI certification. And from that failure, I learned how to approach my learning experience so that I can get and pass my certification afterwards. I got my certification on the second attempt. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what to do and what not to do, and my approach to passing successfully the Microsoft Power BI Analytics certification. First, who is this exam for? This exam is for data analysts, BI developers, if you want to become a Power BI developer, or anyone that creates reports and dashboards on a regular basis for their work. Or if your company is planning to transition from their previous BI tool to Power BI. All of these things are valid for you to go learn Power BI and get certified for it. Second, what is the exam format? The exam is basically a Q&A where you have either multiple choices, single choices, or you sometimes have to arrange your responses based on the segmentation of the actions. So for example, if you wanna execute something on Power BI, what was the first step, the second step, the third step? This makes the exam quite difficult because you need some hands-on experience in Power BI. So in my case, I had six months of experience in Power BI prior to passing my certification, and I thought I got everything that I needed. And that's why the first time I felt, I got a little bit of experience, and then I went on into Microsoft's website and I did some of their tests, which are very simple compared to the real one, which is way more complex and way more detailed. So be very careful with that. That's why I'm going to share with you later on how I approach the learnings so that I can pass on the second attempt. So the skills measured are prepare the data, model the data, visualize and analyze the data, and deploy and maintain assets. So each of these sections you're going to be tested in. Usually on average there's between 42 and 50 questions overall. I think I got 49. And you also have a case study of five, six questions that you have to answer to. Usually the questions are quite straightforward. Uh, the answers, if you did a lot of practice, they pop up very quickly. The case study might take a little bit more time because there are more documents, some things to look through, some tables, some content, some context as well, but it's nothing that should scare you. The price is $165 USD if you're based in the US, and it's £113 if you're based in the UK. So you can see on their official website how much is it based on your country and your currency. Also, the certification is only valid for one year and you can renew it six months prior to expiry and it's for free to renew it. If you fail it, then, then you'll have to pay again and go through the process from scratch. So you can book directly on Microsoft's website. It's very easy. You can either go to a center physically if you have any in your city or in a closed city from where you live or you can do it as I did online. So there is an online experience, it's very simple, it's straightforward. You just attend 20 minutes before the start of your exam. You show them that there is nothing around, the table is clear, the view is clear and everything. They ask you to check your hands, all these things, you know, just a formality, and then you can start. There's someone who is looking through your camera all along the exam, but just don't think about them. Think about your exam, you have plenty of questions, plenty of things to focus on, so no need to worry too much about people looking at you. You're there to pass an exam. It's quite lengthy. I think it's one hour and 40 minutes, if I remember correctly. But always aim to do it in less than that time so you have room to breathe and go back to some questions if you feel like it. Number three, how I studied for it. The first time, I just used the experience that I have in Power BI for six months, and I did some test exams on Microsoft. I completely neglected Microsoft Learn for all the resources, I didn't buy any courses on Udemy, nothing. I just went for these things. I thought I got the skills, then I should pass easily. Wrong. I completely missed it. I was close, I was 600 or something points uh, out of 700, which is the minimum threshold, 700 out of 1,000. But what I learned is that I lacked some deeper understanding of the platform. Because when you use a tool as powerful as Power BI, you don't use all its features, you use some things. And there are so many others that you don't even know, or you're, you know very briefly, not, not in a detailed way to explain each and every point that you need to do step by step. So it forced me to learn the right way. And that was a good thing. It's the first time that I missed a certification and I was happy that I did so because I ended up strengthening my skills and upskilling in Power BI even more. So what I did is that I bought some courses on Udemy. I bought some test exams on Udemy as well, which are way more difficult, way more detailed, and they gave me great hands-on. 
And what I was doing as well is that I had opened Microsoft Learn because you have access to Microsoft Learn when you pass your exam. But don't do it for each question. Use it just a few times. Otherwise, you'll spend on each question five minutes and you'll never finish. So I went through Udemy courses and I went through many and many exam tests. And what I was doing on each and every exam test, I had Microsoft Learn open and I had Power BI open. So every time I couldn't find easily the answer, first I go to Power BI, try to look for it first so I can learn and I'm doing hands-on along the way. And second thing, I was looking quickly if I could find it on Microsoft Learn. So basically Microsoft Learn is just a resource that gives you access to some articles written about Power BI inside of Microsoft. They're not as detailed and they're not as powerful as looking into ChatGPT and it gives you the answer. So you need to read between the lines and sometimes you don't even find the answer. So this is how I managed to pass. I bought some courses on Udemy, which I can link in the description below if you want to have a look into them. I usually go for the discounted price, so it's usually £13, less than $20 per course. So one course and a few test exams for $40 additional to obviously the price of the exam itself. And it gave me a really good understanding of Power BI overall. I did some hands-on on the platform itself, Power BI. Was looking in Microsoft Learn as well to get familiar, to look in quickly in Microsoft Learn, to use it in the exam. And I gave myself two weeks to do all of this. Upskill and learn, improve and go past my exam. And when I passed the second time, I passed successfully. It was way easier because I did the things the right way. I don't want you to think of a certification as simply something that you pass you got it there, put it on LinkedIn and forget about it. It's a skill that you learn. And the first time I failed because I thought the same way. I thought it would be good for me to have this certification because I already use Power BI and I can showcase it to my employer, put it on LinkedIn, whatever. This was the wrong thinking because my aim wasn't to learn. It was just to get a paper, even though it's virtual, it's a PDF. <laughs> but my aim was wrong. But since I failed, I learned that I had to do it differently and because I had to do it differently, I learned way more and I gained the skill. Even though it was just two weeks, but it was so intense that I learned so much about the platform that I didn't know before. And now I'm happy that I failed the first time to pass the second time. And I'm now sharing this with you today. If you found any of these tips valuable to you today to help you pass the exam Power BI certification, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. I'm currently preparing for Microsoft Fabric Analytics certification that I will pass in a few weeks time. So if you're interested, drop me in the comment section if you wanna see a video about it, especially when I pass, I give you the right tips for it. But my approach will be the same as I did for Power BI. I will have multiple resources, I will do multiple exam tests, not just the ones in Microsoft platform. I will go through Microsoft Learn, I will go to Fabric to do a lot of hands-on, which I already do at my work. But all of these things will help me to pass and gain a skill, not just a certification. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.